So one week into December, and it's already been an interesting week. Problems with the Carnival Horizon, an extension of the mask mandate from the federal government, a change into COVID testing for those coming into the United States. It's already made December an interesting month. Let's get into it all right after this. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to the Sunday Brunch Edition for the 5th of December, 2021. So we're one week into December, and like I said, it's already been a pretty interesting couple of days. So we did some videos this last week where we talked about the Carnival Horizon. You know, she had a technical problem with her propulsion system, caused her to slow down. They ended up canceling two cruises. One of them actually was for today, December the 5th. The next one for December the 11th. Well, it turned out that problem was even worse than they thought. And now the Carnival Horizon does have to go over to Italy, be dry docked, and will not be returning into service at least until January the 22nd. Now, luckily for those folks that had cruises booked over the holidays on the Carnival Horizon, Carnival was able to act very quickly, bring in the Sunshine and the Carnival Liberty to pick up those itineraries and keep people cruising over their holiday cruises. Yeah, and I understand. The Carnival Sunshine and the Carnival Liberty are not the Carnival Horizon. They don't have all of the amenities. They're not as new of a ship as the Carnival Horizon. But at least in my opinion, a Christmas cruise is better than no Christmas cruise. And at least Carnival didn't take the route where they simply just canceled. We saw the federal transportation mask mandate extended into March of 2022. And as I said, that is for public transportation in the United States, buses, trains, airplanes, in airports and terminals. That is not a cruise ship mask mandate. It's just how you get to the cruise terminal. So yes, if you fly, take the train, anything like that, and when you are embarking and disembarking through the terminals, that mask mandate is the one that has been extended. There has currently been no changes to any of the cruise line's mask mandate policies. It, like I said, it only affects how you get to the cruise port if you are, say, flying versus driving yourself. And there was also a change to the required COVID-19 testing for international travelers entering into the United States by airplane, where that test has to be taken one day ahead of traveling versus three days prior to traveling as it was before. And that is scheduled to go into effect tomorrow on December the 6th. So if you are traveling into the United States by air after tomorrow, make sure you are up to date with the current COVID-19 testing. That way you don't have any issues catching your flight, getting here and being able to get on a cruise ship because you just don't want to risk missing or messing up any type of vacation. This last week, also Royal Caribbean celebrated their one year return to service. So just a little over a year ago now, they restarted service in Singapore. And yep, some ups, some downs along the way, but Royal Caribbean is well on their way to being back to 100% all ships back in service and continuing to provide us all with really, really awesome cruises. Because I mean, who doesn't love to go on a cruise, right? At least I know I love to go on a cruise. And I'm super excited because we are getting closer every single day to our next cruises. And actually for the very first time ever since we started cruises, we have passed the 90 day window, meaning we have less than 90 days for three upcoming cruises. I'm super excited. We are currently 35 days away from our cruise on the Disney Wonder. 71 days away from our cruise on Independence of the Seas with Royal Caribbean, and 88 days away from our cruise on the Carnival Vista for Carnival's 50th birthday celebration. So yeah, we are really looking forward to starting off 2022, just cruise after cruise after cruise, and finally getting back into the full swing of it, swing of it now that the pandemic is not over, definitely not over, but with cruising restarted, at least we can return to living our lives and enjoying our cruising vacations. So who else currently has upcoming cruises? Is anybody else 90 days or less from your upcoming cruises? 
If you are, put it in the comments below. Let's see who all is going to be cruising here in the next 90 days. Now, next weekend, I am going to be out of town. I'm going to be in North Carolina. I leave on Friday, I'm going out there for my daughter's college graduation on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm going with my granddaughters to see Disney on Ice. So there will not be a Sunday brunch edition video next Sunday, just to let everybody know that ahead of time. I said I'm going to be occupied with the little ones. If there is time and something really important that comes out over the weekend, I will make a quick video, let everybody know what's going on. But for the most part, I'm going to be spending time with my family. And then on Tuesday morning, everything will get back to normal as far as our video scheduling goes. Our live video this month will be on December the 15th. And once we get a little closer, I'll go ahead and schedule that up there as well for anybody that would like to join us for our live video for the month of December. And that catches everything up here so far for the month of December. As I said, we continue to watch the cruise lines, look for cruise news, just in case there's going to be any health and safety protocol changes, any type of cruise cancellations, which hopefully we don't see any more of, but just in case we'll be watching for that, letting you guys know if the cruise lines put out anything specific or any new information. All right, I hope everybody enjoys their weekend and enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day. And of course, we will see you out on the high seas.